After days of intense criticism, the Bruins have decided to part ways with controversial prospect Mitchell Miller, effective immediately. The 20-year-old defenseman was just signed last week, triggering a firestorm over his teenage conviction for bullying and abusing a disabled classmate. Bruins President Cam Neely announced the team's reversal tonight in a written statement. And WBZ's Dan Roach is here now with more on the story. Yeah, Ken, when the Bruins announced Friday that they had signed Mitchell Miller, indeed, as you mentioned, a firestorm erupted that just never let up. The team faced criticism from their fans, their own players, and even the NHL commissioner. In his statement tonight, Cam Neely said the team, quote, understood this to be an isolated incident. Based on new information, we believe it is the best decision at this time to rescind the opportunity for Mitchell Miller to represent the Boston Bruins. We owe it to our fans, players, staff, partners, and community to make sure that our practices and protocols are in keeping with the ethos that we demand from ourselves as an organization. Now, GM Don Sweeney admitted Friday that the team had not spoken to the victim or his family before signing Mitchell, but the victim's mother told WBZ Friday that the harassment went on for years and that Mitchell only apologized to her son a week ago via social media as a condition of his deal with the Bruins. Team captain Patrice Bergeron was among the players who questioned the signing, saying Mitchell's behavior goes against the culture the team takes so much pride in. Bruins radio analyst Bob Beers was with the Bruins in Toronto this weekend as they dealt with the fallout of this. He joined us tonight for Sports Final, and I asked him what the mood was around the team. Edgy, you know, uh, very edgy, I think. Um, and, you know, when you listen to some of the players' comments, and they were asked about it on um, Saturday morning, I guess it was, prior to the game against the Maple Leafs, uh, you know, you can take some of their comments, uh, whether it was Bergeron or Felino or others, that, that were asked about it. And, you know, it was real for them. And they, they, they were mixed, I think, on how things were going and how things were, were, were moving forward. Well, we'll have more with Bob Beers coming up on Sports Final. Neely also said the team will reevaluate their vetting process for potential players. He is scheduled to meet with the media tomorrow morning, so we haven't heard the last of this.